Hello, Mac Warriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Heroes of the Inner Sphere. We're gonna continue our playthrough today, and we got a Vulcan now, and I wanna bring it to the battlefield today. I actually wanna play it myself. So, let's get into a fighting scenario by just directly going to the star map and uh, see if we can get into trouble here. This is Raid Defense and Demolition. I love it. Let's go there. Set the course. We're gonna take 20 days and 100,000 sea bills. We just paid our financial report, our upkeep here, and we are basically broke. We are completely broke. We have no money anymore. However, we have a pretty good good early mech, and I want to, again, use it today. I want to see how the medium laser short burst work. Those are medium lasers which fire a little bit faster than regular ones, with uh, dealing a little bit less damage, but um, yeah, rate of fire is key. Also, hazard pay is good. Additional sea bill payout is extremely good. I love it. And since we are uh, affiliated with uh, Davion, they will you know, give us a little bit more pay, which is extremely handy. So, we're gonna take uh, two negotiation points here. Do we play... We play defense first, I would say, to get our Siebel balance straight. And uh, afterwards, we're gonna try something else. So, here we go. The Enforcer is gonna be piloted by... I would say... Cecile. Cecile, you're gonna take the Enforcer. Uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, because she's already pretty okay with energy and ballistic-based weapons. Uh, you are getting basically just dropped. You're gonna take the spider, and I'm gonna take the Vulcan. Alrighty, let's ready up, guys. We need three more days to actually get the repairs done, and I think we are combat ready at that point. Now, the cool thing about the Vulcan is it's quite mobile, and it has a good amount of firepower as well. So let's see. Wow, that toss a twist. It's crazy. And we can run about, I think it's 100 kph or so? Yeah, 97, which is actually quite good. I think I should also probably set up a kind of a chain fire group here. Um, let's actually make it a group fire. And have chain fire right here. Alright, so cool. There we go. Man, that thing is fast. That thing is so fast. It's cool, I love it. We have actually dumped the... Uh, what's it called? The jump jets, so we cannot really jump with the mech. And now we have to kind of hold out here. By the way, this is it. That's a very short burst. Wow! Great! I love it already. And uh, this is our, our small laser that we have on the arm. Perfect. Pitch angle is also pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna wait until enemies show up on our radar and then we're gonna attack them. That's the idea here. And I mean, those early game missions, I think they should be okay. So, I will, I would say, go out here so that we can intercept those enemies quickly and they don't get to deal any damage to the base because the more of the base is left, the more payout we're gonna get. Uh, this is an LRM carrier, we're gonna take it down. Although, they, there is a, there is a scorpion here. Let's take the scorpion first. And the small laser as well. Got it. So, now we go over here. Get into 270 meters. This thing is devastating to tanks. I love it. So let's go over here. I think if I'm using the Enforcer on, a, on an AI pilot, I might want to go back to the large laser to have some range advantage. They are not shooting the weapons fast enough to overheat anyway. Alright, easy. Oh, the bobbing is actually quite, <laughs> quite a lot here on this mech. Don't like it too much, I gotta say. So, where's the next wave of attack? Additional tangles there we go, on the other side of the battlefield. Harasser platform. Those harassers are just nasty. They are fast and, uh, you know, they don't really bring much firepower, but it's okay. Um, they, they just, you know, harass. That's what they are made for. Also, why are the turrets not here? We should have turrets. Turrets be online, please. No? Maybe if the enemies are coming closer to the base, they will attack. Uh, and enable themselves. But hey, here we go. We're gonna attack the harasser. Those short burst lasers, man. I love them. That's pretty good. Is there anybody else? There is a guy. Oh, wow. Coming from two different directions now. Interesting. We are surrounded. But I mean, again, we have the mobility, the base is in the middle, and we can just intercept whenever we want. Uh, by the way, that long term attack here, but my friend stepping into it, was a big chunk of the base done. But I have the feeling, in general, they try to avoid the buildings more than uh, before, when uh, MechWarrior 5 was just released. The, the DLC here, Heroes of the Inner Sphere, uh, it actually actually added a little bit of AI intelligence. Like, really, artificial intelligence. Intelligence. You could actually give me more enemies. Hello, game. 
Give me more. You've got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Where are they? I don't see any. That's a lie, Rihanna. There's nobody here. Please give more enemies. Oh, we have a battle mech. Oh, right. That's a freaking fire starter. Okay. All right. With me, guys. Uh, we need to attack. Oh, God. Do we go out to attack or do we do we go back? Okay, we got that guy. All right, we're going to attack this while the base is under attack. I know. I'm the worst. Uh, but let's see what we can do here. We are in range. And we're going to turn around. Why me? Take my friends. Leave me alive. This is pretty solid. All right, he has flamers. Let's uh, get a little bit away from him so that we are not overheating. I want that side to also gone. Ooh, we are eating a lot of damage here. Ah, we got him at this point. One more shot and he's down. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get back to base quickly because that base is getting attacked. Yeah, sometimes going all out is not the right choice, but I think we can actually... We are, you know, faster with this. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. 72% Rihanna. It's not even a big deal. That Locust has nothing. Maybe it has. But as soon as we attack the Locust, uh, we will have his attention. Oops. Sorry. Was that a building? Also, frame rates are a little bit low right now. I don't know. Maybe it's because of my recording software. Sorry, I'm gonna figure out how to make it a little bit better in the next episode. Or maybe it's just for me. Maybe it's okay for you guys. Stay here, Mr. Locust. I need you. Alright, got him. And then there is one more. Wait. There is one more. There was one more. We can also not get over here? Okay. So, I think I saw somebody right here. In the general area of of here. There's a guy. Yeah. Get him. Get him. A J. Edgar with two flamers and the medium laser. Where will he come from? To the right side, huh? Oh, yeah. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. See you. Oh, it's not enough. Hi. Got him. So, 9 out of 13. We are almost done. We have 69%. Nice. Uh, of the base. And I think the next wave should arrive shortly. And that's gonna be the last Enemy one. Yeah. The they look like they're heading your way. And we go back to base and then we're gonna destroy everybody who's trying to attack us here. We took a significant amount of damage actually. So our right side also doesn't look great. We certainly have to do some repairs in the war zone here. In order to get the mech up and running again. But luckily... Oh, that's a medium mech. Assassin. That's just an assassin though. Um... Luckily, our friends are not really in, uh, endangered so much, so they didn't take too much damage. Uh, all right, let's get the assassin first, I think. All right, share target. I'm gonna go for legs here, because that thing seems to be weak on the legs, and we already have a big hit there, so let's follow up. Both legs destroyed means mech down. This is a great brawler. I love that thing. Really fits my playstyle. Mobility and firepower. Okay, one more. Nope, two more. Got him. So, I'm gonna go for the Locust now. And try to attract some fire. Eat critical. That's a thing that I haven't heard in a while. And one more shot. Down he goes. So, two tanks and we are good to go. So, there's uh, one more here on the left side. Saw it earlier. The bobbing makes it really hard to hit. I cannot wait to get heavy mags, which are a little bit slower. And we got it. Perfect. So, I'd say the mech is extremely efficient, but a little bit hard to play because of all the up and down, and uh, kind of aiming is a little bit uh, tricky on this. So I think if we can find something like a blackjack or so, that would be better. Also, we are unknown. Very nice. We have a reputation of two now. All right, and we get a million sea bills. Oh, that is what we need right now. So, AC5, LRM, and that's all we got, I guess. I don't need a Machine Gun Plus right now. That's fine. And I think at some point we need to really try to find another Light Mech in order to get... Um, how to say it? Um, uh, in order to get another pilot on the battlefield so that we train all of our pilots at the same time. 
Also, armed robbery? Hello. Hello, Mr. Spears. The local systems are in shambles. Many mercenary outfits are packing up and running, while others are looking to ransack vacant merc bases. It's never a bad idea to take advantage of an opportunity, and this might be it. My clients need supplies too, and if you get your hands on some, I'll give you a healthy cut of the resale value. So we get 150,000, 20 reputation, which is good. And we get two random things here, or unknown things. We'll accept that. Do we have to play the contract here? That's the question. I don't think so. So we have a snowstorm for House Corita. It's a demolition mission. It's exactly what we are made for. We're gonna take all the money, I think. How much is that? 15 salvage shares? That could be a light mech. Mm, let's go. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Oh, yeah. Your visibility and sensory and we need to repair this. We there. need to repair everything. Let's go. It'll probably take us a while. It's only five days. That's okay. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get some uh, mech parts here. Not mech parts, but full mechs, ideally. So, what we need to do is, uh, we need to try to go for headshots. Headshots would be ideal, so that the uh, pilot is incapacitated and we can still uh, save the metal and then get it from the battlefield and add it to our storage. We need that fourth mech again, in order to be at full combat efficiency. Alright, let's see. We have a bit of a bad weather condition, but that's okay. And we should always look out for supply caches on the battlefield. That's also a thing. So it's a scorpion. If we only happen to fight tanks and, and vehicles in general, uh, our big salvage pick here was not the right choice. Lucky for us, we have a polar environment. And that means that our cooling is gonna be way better. It's an Irby? Would we take an Irby? Oh, hell yeah, we would take an Irby. Ooh, that's a lot of fire already. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try to deal with the tanks quickly. Ooh, Irby? Wait, what? Right, we got that. So my friends are attacking that urban mech. Oh god, the bobbing. Let's go for legs here. Don't hit me, Irby. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Also, those SRMs gotta go. They are so devastating. Let's uh, prioritize our priority targets. Uh, yeah, those guys. Now, please. Did we get the turret? Nope. We didn't get it. Uh, I'm gonna run over the tank. We'll deal a bit of damage to me, but that's okay. And now it's back to Urban Mag. Ow. A nice leg sweep. I think I'm gonna play this kind of safe here. No! My center torso. My precious center torso. <laughs> so the good news is that... I mean, we, we take a lot of damage here. The good news is that we have basically one now. This base is very small, which means it's not gonna take us too long to actually get some damage in here. Okay, take that out real quick and we're gonna run over this. Except for those gas pipes. They don't seem operational, so we can just run over them, because sometimes those pipes will actually blow up. And then you deal a significant amount of damage to your own mech, which is not advised. So, anyway, we are basically done. Yeah, no one is gonna be able to utilize that. So in terms of salvage, we didn't really get much stuff here. We should have probably gone for the, um, for the money, basically. Because that would have given us some raw value. I'm not sure if the salvage options here would give us anything good. I was really hoping for the light mech. Maybe we get an urban mech. Maybe. We'll see. We lagged it. At the very least, there's that. So I think lagging them will give us a bit of a higher chance to actually salvage. I wanna shoot again. No. Okay. So that mission is done. It's pretty cool that the missions are relatively fast early on. We can get Irby. We have an urban mech. Alrighty. Yeah, we have an urban mech, guys. I'm gonna use that thing. So, 15 out of 15. Irbys are super duper slow, so we will put some long range at it. So it, it can just, you know, follow up while the fast movers are on the front line. I do not really care about it so much. But, um, it's good to have it. Question. Is that thing as damaged as it comes from the battlefield? I think it is. 
Yeah, both legs are destroyed at zero. The rest of the armor is still there. It's interesting. And also, it has the uh, Kurita camo pattern. Which makes a lot of sense. That's really cool. So it's an AC-10 Burst Fire Urban Mech. Which is okay. I think I'm just gonna use it like that. Drop the jump jets, get another ton of ammo in there. We might want to use the AC-5s. Just to have an, a range advantage. So that Urbi is always engaged. Mm, max range is 620. Max range is thir three, yeah, 360. I'm gonna use the AC-5 here, probably. And this is a medium laser then. Sure, why not? Uh, but we're gonna repair it in uh, a different zone. Because right now, we wanna play for Kurita. They really don't like us, but that's okay. Or do we even play for Kurita? We have no negotiation points. We get three salvage shares and 250,000. Is that worth the time? I would say no. Maybe we just play for Davia and get super high reputation and get it quickly. Five days, it's fine. Seven days, it's fine. So this conflict zone is not even too bad. Alrighty, so we're gonna skip this mission. Black market and demolition. I like those demolition contracts. But ideally we go somewhere where we actually have something big to do. Yeah. Let's take our priority contract. Let's go. This is gonna be interesting. So, I don't know, guys. Have you picked up MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries? Have you picked up the DLC Heroes of the Inner Sphere? Uh, let me know down below in the comments. And let me know what you think of the changes and what you think of the edition so far. I mean, right now we are kind of in the early game. So, we still have to figure things out and uh, wait for the content to actually unfold around us. But there's already a good amount of stuff. And I think as soon as we are getting to Reputation 4, we can actually take those uh, special contracts. But anyway, here we are. Let's take the contract from Spears. Glacial Ice and Blizzard. Oh god. We will probably not see anything here. Uh, anyway, we can get 15 Silver Chairs and it's a 5... a 15 difficulty assassination mission. I'm gonna take the Salvage here. Maybe I'm even taking damage coverage. Ah, uh, but that will reduce a lot here. We could pick a great deal of money. Maybe it's that. Damage coverage? Ah, uh, it's salvage. It's money and salvage, right? It's a lot of money. But that salvage seems actually quite interesting. 15. That could result in another light mech. Maybe a lower tier medium. Mm, I'm intrigued. Let's go with that. So, heavy weather warnings. I really do hope that that means that the AI is also not able to hit properly. Because that'll give me a great advantage. Because I think I, I am always engaged. I'm more engaged with my enemies than uh, my, my friendlies. Means I have a high rate of fire. And um, I'm kind of the, the guy that actually deals damage. And if the enemies, which are just a lot of enemies, are having a bad time to hit me, then overall I think my performance is gonna, or our performance is gonna be better here. And let's see. As always the choice to actually play with friends, have them pilot the other mechs. Well, that's okay. So I'm also looking for supply caches here. And uh, therefore, we're gonna take a look around. Whenever there's a small base, we're gonna check it out to see if there's something of value that we can pick. Let's see. Also, just a thousand meters. It's quite close. I like it. Especially when uh, running those those fast mags early on. Those missions are super duper good. You just go in, you get the stuff done, you get out again. Later on, it's all about firepower. But let's see. Hello? Alright. Yes, this is it. You have a nice Steiner accent. <laughs> oh no, it's not enough. Small laser. Wait, did you just hit your friend with the peep? Let's definitely get that manticore out. Attack my target, friends. Attack my target. That manticore's gotta go. And we gotta stay in motion so bad. Panther, okay, got it. I would take a panther to my lands. Alright, so we got the manticore. That was a huge kill. Now the turrets. And, oh, that's a freaking hunchback. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Let's get out of here. The wrong side, by the way. 
stop here. Oh boy. That's a freaking hunchback. And it brings so much damage to the table. I really want to get that AC-20 out of him. It's a burst fire 20. Okay. So far so good. Man, we need to get away from this. And then there's the panther delivering support fire. And turrets. Oh, we are slowing down. That's not good. Stay in motion in order to not get hit. That's the, the biggest takeaway here. AC-20 is still on uh, online. Still there. Oh, and this is where we stopped for a second. And we got punished for it. Love the sound of this. Got hit by a PPC. Mm, that's a kill. Nope. It's not. Still not. But he's out of ammo for the 20. That's the good news. Alright, let's get him down. And then we're gonna get out of here. I think I'm not even fighting to the end. We're getting out. Uh, actually, are we? I mean, we have some salvage rights. Maybe it's actually worth trying to get the panther down. My mech does look bad. Okay, let's go for his legs there. Ooh. Almost. One more shot, guys. And then we got a bail. Alright. Run, 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 run. Come with me, people. Come with me. <laughs> we are escaping here. Let's get out of here. Oh, boy. Laurent with the Enforcer. Uh, pressing Q, by the way, and targeting your friends helps you seeing their silhouette. Yeah, that Enforcer is getting wrecked. Run! Don't fight anymore. We did our job. Sometimes it's better to bail. Yeah, that was a mission that was way higher than our rating, our own rating here. That thing was scary. But we made it. And that's a lot of rap. I love it. Not quite enough for the freaking hunchback. Ugh. Why? Why? I want it. Oh, well, I guess I'll take an LRM-10 or two and a PPC. We, ha we don't have them yet. Uh, that's a lot of good small lasers as well. I will take them. I'll take four of them. That's okay. And then uh, another PPC for value and an SRM-4 and ammo. The damage taken is 219,000, which is okay. And we didn't lose any... Um, we didn't lose any items. We lost a component here, a right arm, but that right arm was just a shield arm anyway. So that's the good news. Uh, wait, we get a locust! Yeah, that's cool. A locust and a medium laser. That's exactly what we need now. That means we can actually drop Irby. Sorry, Irby. Keeping that locust. Repair cost is 17 days. I think I still want to start here. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's repair everything. Q. Destroyed weapons, equipment, small laser. Oh, yeah, the small laser, of course. Um, that means... That means, that means, that means we gotta stop the work. How do we do that, even? Battle max? Work orders, there we go. Vulcan has to stop here. Real quick. We have to refit this small laser. You know what? We can put a better laser on it. There we go. Repair all. Start work. 17 days. Alright. So we have a locust now. That locust, um, first of all, needs a paint job. Apply. Wait, no. Select all. Apply to all. So now we have our locust in our colors. And I want to obviously edit the loadout here because I think... No, wait. It is okay. It's actually fine. Let's play the locust just like that. Cool, so we can bring four mechs to the battlefield again. I think I'm gonna drop the Irby. Gonna sell it for 500,000 seabills. Well, we are making money again. Alrighty, so we can play three defensive contracts. They take a while though. I like demolition, I like raid. Ah, oh, raid is... raid is okay. We'll go over here. Uh, yes, of course. So guys, uh, for me... I think the biggest part is playing two more contracts or three uh, on this planet here, getting some more reputation right now, getting some more rep with uh, Davion as well. So we should probably pick just Davion so we get the, the higher reputation so we get more picks later and uh, get better stuff from the battlefield. And that's what we're gonna be doing. We need mechs and not equipment. This is not Davion, but we are targeting House Kurita. Hmm. It's a raid in the morning. 
Yeah. So as long as we are attacking Kurita and not Davion, we are fine. Keeping that reputation up. And I want to play in the morning. And I want to play for nothing because we are disliked. All right. Let's go for it then. Accept that. Pilot is going to be you. And you will be playing the Locust. We have 140 out of 145. Yeah. At this point, uh, we can play these missions quite easily. And we, if we even if we got would have gotten the Hunchback, then we wouldn't be able to run it anyway, because it would be too heavy. Attention. So right now I'm okay with my Light Max. So destroy targets at all locations. That's a raid, which means uh, we have enemies. No, wait. We have kind of technical targets at these, um, at these positions that we have to destroy. And then some enemies around them. That's a lot of them. Alright, so we're gonna go counterclockwise. Uh, actually, it's clockwise. We're gonna move over here, then probably to the center, then the top right, and then the lower right. I think it's a, it's a good plan of attack here. Alright, so 800 meters. Let's see what our little Vulcan can do. And I'm really hoping that we find more of those supply caches that are scattered around the, the map. 700 meters, 500 meters, that's the loadout. We'll attack this first. Wait. Oh, you got that. Perfect. Nope. Not enough. You really gotta go to short range here. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. That's a lot of turrets you have here. Let's deal with them first so we take less damage over the course of all of this. Good work, Commander. That's one less target. That's one less target. All right, let's get out of here. That was quite quick. Those SRMs, yeah, they're quite nasty. Got him, perfect. So, next to the center. Do we even get fall damage here? Let's see. Wow! Bam. No, that was no fall damage. Not from that height, at the very least. So, into the center. I think we're gonna end the episode here, by the way, to going to an industrial hub, and uh, I want to see if we can upgrade our max a little bit. That would be fantastic. Uh, but first of all, we need to grind some more money and uh, get things done here. Hey, stay here. Hey, little guy. You can already attack that. Wait, who's that? You're dead. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I see your armor is good, but is it good enough? Missiles. Yeah, missiles are really nasty. Those SRMs are devastating. Ooh, that's a carrier. But we are done here. Let's go to the next checkpoint. So I think uh, it's a good idea to get up on the high ground here. There was a ramp on this side. And then we're gonna take that, and while we're on the high ground, we'll then go over to the other one in the bottom. That's how we do it. And honestly, I love the mobility of that. The 100 kph is just beautiful. Playing those missions in an Annihilator, for example, is the worst. The absolute worst. So... I think the next mission is not gonna be the raid contract that we had there. I think the next mission is gonna be the Demolition. I wanna wreck some things afterwards. And Demolitions are actually quite cool. They are, they are easy, they are fun to play, they, are have, uh, they have a lot of action, since you need to just go in and just wreak havoc on the buildings and defend against the other mechs and vehicles. So, did I see a mech there for a second? Yeah, there was a mech. Spider mech! That's whatever a spider mech does. Okay, I'm gonna leg him. It's a good way to deal with those pesky fast movers. Hmm. If we could hit him. Nice! So you got the targets down already, thank you team. But we need to get that mech down as well. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. That is a leg down. He's still jumping around like crazy, but we got him. So, spider mech down, let's keep going. My spider mech is actually doing a good job destroying that base earlier. Thank you. That was a good shot. 
Let's go over here to the right side. We still haven't found any of those supply caches, which is a bit sad. Nope. I want to destroy you. Thank you. Oh, and uh, important thing is, we are not allowed to fall. That is super duper important. Okay, let's see. 700 meters. It's the last thing. I wonder even if we have to evac from that. Uh, if we are, or when we are ready. Let's see. Would be cool if Rihanna is just picking us up. When we are done. Uh, by the way, I, I had it once that I fell down a hill in a rocky in a rocky environment and then I was stuck on terrain so don't just jump down when you're not sure if you can actually get out of that spot again okay moving backwards and almost down come on give me your legs buddy or your center Ah, almost. One more shot, and down he goes. Perfect. So, one of the last things to do here. Destroy the turret. Destroy the loadout. And we are done. Ah, so we actually have to evac. Let's go back to, to that spot. We might actually get attacked while we are doing so. A thousand meters. Let's go. Man, I want bigger mechs. I really want to get out of this. Maybe, you know what, we're gonna play the Enforcer, just to, you know, switch it up a little bit. At the same time, ah, we shouldn't. If we play the Demolition Mission next, we should really stick to the Vulcan, because it has a very good amount of DPS that can uh, destroy the base so quickly. And that's a priority. I wouldn't let my AI do that. It wouldn't be efficient. So, let's do it once more. And then we're gonna play the Enforcer a bit more. For all of you who are getting motion sick. <laughs> Here we are. Victory is ours, Victory is ours. perfect. Prepare for evac. Hello, little one. Cool. So that works. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go home with a, a good chunk of sea bills. We have, ooh, the second level of reputation now. Nice. Yeah, we get three whatever. I think I'm gonna go with highest value, nothing else. I don't want to upgrade any machine guns or anything, it's just not worth it. Cool, we get better heat management, we get better energy weapons, and the more you use those things, the more you get them. Um, specifically here, the ballistics on the Enforcer were trained, and actually she got to level 3 energy as well. Not bad. Alrighty then, we are still disliked. Is that even worth it? Is that worth our time? It might be. It's a difficulty 10 mission. Yeah, I mean. I mean. Get money here. Get money and then we're gonna go to um, to an industrial hub and see if we can pick up some goodies there. So, first of all, do we need repairs? I think I want to repair this. It's three days. Two days. Luckily, all of them will be repaired at the same time. So, we just have to wait for three days tops. Alright, let's go. Ready up. Three days. Doesn't cost us so much anyway. And uh, we will make more money in this mission than we just paid for the repair and the time for the financial report. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Reach target garrison at March checkpoint. Sure. And then we're gonna... Wreck. Everything. I'm actually hoping for a small base. Nominal. By yeah, it's a rather small base, it's fine. And you know what, you have to deal... Or let's say the, the base demolition progress is percentage based. Which means the bigger the base, the more you have to actually destroy before you get to the 100%. So that should be doable. And I think we should focus on enemy forces quickly. And then just go in. Because you, the longer you stay, the more reinforcements will arrive. Medium laser harasser. Mm, yeah, let's go with the turrets. Yes, one. Ooh, that's a mag. It's an urban mag with an AC-10 burst fire. Everybody, go for Urby. It's currently not shooting me. Let's go for legs again, because that's kind of easy on the Urby. 
Ah, the bobbing. Wow, kind of messes with my aim a lot. So we got the legs. I'm gonna go for the tanks now, especially those SRMs. Who shoots me with uh, PPC? Huh? Who's that? All right, Irby is down. Perfect. So there was some ECM scrambling. I don't know what it was, but it was not good. Oh, it is an actual Manti core. Of course. Of course it would be. Let's go for Manti first. Right. So, I think we are good. And we can just start uh, wrecking now. Get that thing. You don't need that radar dish anymore. Why would you? You're not sending any signals. Oh, this is not a small building. We have to actually run around it. We cannot run through it, and then we get stuck at some point. Oh, they send VTOLs now. Nice! Alright, let's deal with the enemies again. Um, VTOLs with only TOLs amounted weapons. Well, mostly TOLs amounted weapons is uh, actually uh, quite a bad thing. But I think we managed quite nicely. Seems good! Halfway there. Another turret. So what else can we destroy here? We are down to 40%. Uh, this building is basically toast. Nice. Uh, J. Edgar. Let's actually attack the higher ups on the building. Those things. Walls? Are walls helping us? There's that. 23%. We need more things to destroy. Let's get that guy real quick. 21%. 20%. There's another radar dish. Ooh, that is a big chunk. And there are buildings in front of us. So that's good. So attack the high ground by doing that and then walking through the low ground thingies. It's kind of efficient time usage. And we have a supply cache. And I want that. So you guys gonna keep racking? Okay. 10% still. Yeah, that doesn't count. Oh, did it? I don't know. We're gonna pick that up here. Look at that. Ready to start pickup operation. Free goodies. What did we get? Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Tell me, Rihanna. Recovered salvage. C builds and AC2 ammo. Okay. Nothing too crazy. But okay, I'll take it. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. We're gonna make a breach in the wall and we're just gonna run. Oh, there's another mech. What's that? A Vulcan? Attack that. No, wait, we didn't really take salvage here, right? We just run. We might just want to run. Yeah, we're taking damage for nothing. It doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. And funnily enough, the dropship is actually helping us. Cannot shoot anymore. No, we got him! <laughs> the last shot actually crippled his leg and he was going down. Nice! So, that's the extra AC ammo. We get a uh, half a million C builds. Get... Uh, we get an urban mech again. I'll take a PPC, I'll take uh, an AC5. Uh, no, actually, I'll take a PPC and an SRM6 here. Short range missiles are actually quite nice. We don't really have a good missile mech yet, though. Alright! So, total damage is quite minimal. We only got 60,000 repair costs and 500,000 total. We are at a very healthy C build balance again. The question is, do we play the other contract here, yes or no? Uh, I mean, we have two negotiation points now, now that we played a bunch of missions for them. Could probably pick nine salvage, is not gonna kick it. You know what, we're gonna take all the money. Yeah. I think it's gonna be worth it. I don't even think that we have to repair. So we're gonna ready up. And we're going to repair when we arrive at the travel hub, at the industrial hub, so that we uh, save a little bit of money here. But in general, I feel like there's there is no real benefit having mechs in repair, going to an industrial hub and repairing there and then going back. Because you have to pay the travel cost, which is huge, and you have to pay the travel time, which is a chunk of your monthly upkeep or 90 day upkeep here? I don't know. Um, so you will spend a lot of time going back and forth, which is already a lot of loss a lot of money loss you know what i mean it's it doesn't feel right 
give the general area they're located at. All right, we're gonna stay on the high ground and get things done here. So the idea is to take the money with us, and we're gonna then go for maybe some rare weapon systems, maybe some mech upgrades. I really want to get rid of the Locust. I would really like to get a fire starter, by the way. They are extremely good light mechs. 35 tons, lots of weapon hard points, sturdy, fast. They are really handy. Let's go right side. So, should be an easy mission. Let's see. One down. See, easy as that. Uh, so we have a mech, it's an urban mech, oh no. Hey, RB. That's an AC-10 uh, burst fire. I want to go for center torso, quickly. What's wrong with the... Wow, that was dark all of a sudden. So we have him down. Nope, not quite. Alright, he's destroyed. And now we go for the turret. Ooh, wait, there's stuff behind us? Didn't even see you. And then another one. That's why my back is getting so scratched. Cool. Irby down, turret down, mission almost done. One quarter of it is uh, fulfilled. We're gonna go over to the next one and see what they bring there. <laughs> it's the worst. You come around the corner and you get greeted by a big SRM to the face. Down goes the veto. Great progress. Wait, that's it? That, that? Okay. I'll take it, thank you. Hmm, this is interesting. Let's go for the SRM carrier quickly. Oh, wait. Who shot us with an uh, AC-10 there? I don't know, I'll, I'll attack the SRM carrier, that's for sure. Cool. We actually got some cover here, which is nice. Ah, uh, it's an AC-5 from a Scorpion. Nothing too crazy. Things that we can deal with. But they have a bunch of them there. Yeah. And then another SRM carrier. Got it. And now you. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Say it again. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> oh, man. Or should I say BB? Target destroyed. A target destroyed. Everything destroyed. Your mom destroyed. So, yeah, he is down. Perfect. No, he's not. Never mind. Target destroyed. So, this is the last thing that we have to deal with. By the way, look into the sky because sometimes you can see the large white beacons getting, uh, you know, up into the sky that indicate that there's a supply cache to be taken. Do we go to that base? You know what? We do. Because there might be a supply cache. There might be some extra goodies hidden here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Ah. There it is. That's what I mean. Look into the sky to see the beacons. Actually, they are not really going all the way up. But that's free salvage. Thank you. Oh, this actually dealt damage to me? What? I was running over those those greenhouses, and they dealt damage to me. They are filled with explosives. <laughs> Maybe some, I don't know, gas in there from the from the cows or whatever. Let's get up here. Yes, cows are being bred in greenhouses. Absolutely. You know what I mean. The farming things. So, uh, yeah, let's get up here. Let's see what we can do on the last thing. I hope that there's not that big of an enemy force because I already took a lot of damage. And it's okay as long as it's not going through the armor and critting my lasers because I like those short burst lasers. They are really cool. So, 700 meters. I could technically wait for the enforcer to arrive, but I don't want to. I want to be fast. I want to be done with the mission. Going around the left side here, because this gives us cover. We can pull back from the fight if we need to. So what do we see here? What do we have in our sensors? A VTOL. Turret. What? What are you doing here? 
<laughs> this is breakdancing tank. Where did you come from? That was crazy. All right. Thank you, Carrier, for showing up. But that was a dramatic entrance here. Holy crap. All right, let's get the mission done and get out of here. Are we done, Rihanna? Here we go. Deployed near you. Wait, what? That's not what I want to hear. I want to go home. I don't want any additional forces to be deployed in my area. No. It's not what I sign up for. I'm going to get out of here. We just want to run because this is all a money negotiation. Killing more targets doesn't mean better salvage. Because, you know, we don't have salvage negotiation. Oh, there they come. Oh, God, that's, an, uh, that's a fire star. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Go away. Leave me alone. All right. He doesn't do that. I'm trying to get out of here. Regroup! I cannot engage him alone. I have to wait for my team. All right. Back we go. And there are some VTOLs as well. Yeah, I'll deal with the VTOLs. You go for the other guy. The starter of fires. Got him. So, it's very important that my friends will attract some fire here. Literal fire from the fire starter. Um, the thing is, you aggro by dealing damage. It's like in an MMORPG. The more damage you deal to a single target, the more they aggro you. I'll take the arm off, so it's not hitting me so much. Okay. That was a good one. Nice, center torso. And again, one more hit, and the fire starter is down. There we go. So, yeah, attracting fire by shooting people, that's that's what happens here. The more damage you deal in a certain amount of time, uh, the more you will uh, aggro the enemies. And sometimes it's good to just send in your friends, have them attract the fire, sit in the outskirts and shoot into the fight. And that's exactly what we did here. So, well done team, thank you for being my meat shield. By the way, Beaumont on the spider. Uh, yeah, she's fine. And we're out of here. Time to our Good mission. I like that one. That was cool. Was a bit of a challenge, actually. With the fire starter as the miniboss at the end. And we're gonna go home. We're gonna take our salvage. The little bit that we can get here. And uh, we're gonna take our money, more importantly. And an LRM 20 tier 3. Coming from the salvage. I love it. As I was saying earlier, I would love to take a fire starter. That thing is extremely good. I'm taking two LRM 10 tier 2, though. No, I'm taking one and a medium laser. Yeah, it's fine. Cool, level up in ballistics. You're really getting good here, Cecile. Not bad. We gotta do some repairs. And again, as I was saying, we will go to the star map and we will try to figure out where to go now. We've been down here already. We've been here. There's a rare weapon on market. I don't really want to go back. See, when we take a look at the zone here, recommended uh, reputation level, like right right up here, uh, says 1 to 2. This is 2 to 3. That's 3 to 6. So this will give us more headache. Maybe we should go here. 2 to 3. Why not? So we can take a look at the rare weapons. Alright, let's go. The important thing is that we get to a market. And uh, we can repair for lower cost. We're gonna take a look at the, the options that we have there. Maybe we even find a mech that we want. Some kind of, you know, start of fires or so. <laughs> we'll see. I would instantly sell a Locust for it, by the way. We have... Uh, first of all, we look at the pilots. The 24, 16, 30. 19 out of 30. Oh boy. You're good with missiles and you are quite evasive. I think I want that guy. I hope you take snow there, Girl. Woman. Grown-up woman. Um... 19 out of 30. That's 8 out of 21. Right? We're gonna drop her. Sure. Gonna do that. I hope you take snow this and I think I'm gonna hire you. Hello, Lieutenant Sinclair. You in the ready room. That seems good. Okay, um, on top of that, we got some battle mechs that we want to repair. Just repair them. And I want to take a look at the mech market. We see locusts and spiders. Yeah, whatever. But let's take a look at the regular market. Let's see what's on sale here. I see an LRM 5... No, not 15. 5 stream with Artemis. Complete garbage. 
It's way too heavy. It adds another ton to an LRM-5 just to have Artemis. It's not great. Artemis is always a ton, which means the relative value that you get out of Artemis is high on big missile launchers. On a small one, you add another ton for basically nothing. Not gonna be worth it. This is good, though. Another medium laser short burst. Tier 3. That I like. I think I want to pick it up. Then an SRM-4 stream with Artemis. Uh, uh, improved spread in a stream? Does that even make sense? I don't know. A uh, bunch of jump jets, bit of ammo, and Artemis ammo, of course. I don't know if I want to pick that up, as I think it's too expensive. I need another mech. I need a better mech. I will pick up the short burst, though. That's good. Flamer tier 2. I think it's okay. Burst fire AC-10 for the Enforcer, maybe? That could be a thing. But I don't necessarily need it. No. I'm not gonna pick up anything else here. But the good news is that we got a new pilot, which is amazing. And we're gonna end the episode here. Next time, we're gonna take a look in this area and see if we can play some higher rated missions for some more money, some more salvage, and some more goodies. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.